Thanks. I want to bring in uh, Roland Martin, who's joining us from New York, because um, you actually uh, you spoke uh, to the attorney of, uh, of uh, Trayvon Martin's family mm -hmm. and uh, give us a sense of how they're responding to this. Again, uh, what, what Ben Crump said is that the family is very cautious uh, and are patient uh, when it comes to uh, this particular case here. They believe that he should be arrested. George Zimmerman should be arrested. That there's probable cause to arrest him right now. Uh, and so uh, they certainly, uh, you know, once this news came down, and talking to other attorneys though, they said they did not want this to go to a grand jury because you put it in a grand jury's hands and all of a sudden, if they come back with no indictment, then you're left with what? Uh, and so uh, to what uh, we just heard from Martin, one of the issues here is, does this give the special prosecutor more time to actually review the evidence, do interviews to make the proper call? If you go to a grand jury, then it could go either way. And so uh, with the family, what, what according to Ben Crump, he says they believe there should be an arrest and that the family is very patient and hopeful that justice will be served. And, and what does the family want people to do? Because there are a lot of folks who are out there, they're protesting today, mm -hmm. they have the campaign that's going forward, and uh, are they encouraging them to continue this or to, to the, just simply wait? Suzanne, they absolutely believe that the public pressure is playing a critical role in this case. Remember, Trayvon Martin shot and killed on February 26th. Two, three weeks go by, nothing happens. All of a sudden, uh, folks uh, like myself on social media, we begin to talk about it, begin to drive the story, it hits national media, and then all of a sudden, the DOJ gets involved with their investigation. Then all of a sudden, the Seminole County DA steps aside, special prosecutor steps in. Rick Scott, the governor of Florida, he begins to appoint folks to begin to look at this. You begin to see review of your stand your ground law. Bottom line is, the public pressure drove this. You know, Frederick Douglass said, agitate, 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 and power can seize nothing without a demand. And so that's what you're seeing here. But what the family makes clear, they don't want to see vigilante justice. They don't want to see any of this drama. They want to see nonviolent protests. They want to see people exercising their First Amendment rights and making sure that it is nonviolent and peaceful and the focus stays on justice, not on any sideshows. And, and Roland, we want to uh, at, at least uh, let our viewers know about uh, Ben Jealous. You talked to him as well, the head of the NAACP. His statement saying, we hope this means Mr. Zimmerman will finally be charged, arrested, and brought to justice. Uh, there's always been sufficient basis for probable cause. There has never been a need for for a grand jury. Uh, there has simply been a need for an arrest. And uh, clearly that's what the family is still, still waiting for. Yep, and again, it's all about a matter of being patient. And people are saying, time clock, when does it all begin? The key is justice might take some time, but you want to get it right versus actually rushing something, and then you get no justice in the end. All right, Roland Martin, thank you.